In this tutorial, we will write a Java program to print an integer entered by user. So to take any number entered by user, we will need to import a Java library called scanner. And before I start, I want you to know that I will uh, this this code will be default written. Uh, I will not be rewriting this in every program because this code will be same for every program. For every program, you have to have a class. The name can be different. It doesn't matter. And then you have to have a main class. And so that is why these uh, this piece of code have to be same for every program. So I will not write this again and again. So this by default, whenever we will start any tutorial of any program, this code will be there and we will just complete rest of the code which we need to accomplish our topic. Okay, so uh, let me start from importing Java library from Java dot util dot scanner. Okay, and then we since scanner is a class, we need to create its object. So I create an object of a scanner by a scanner and I yeah, I can give any name, I give it a reader because we will be reading the anything, reading input from user. So reader equals to new and scanner and I will pass system dot in argument so that this will allow us to take input from system and our system is the keyboard. Okay, so this reader will help us to take input from keyboard. Okay, and then I want to give a message to the user to enter it. Uh, and if you see when I say I write print, I have so many things over here. Uh, so many hints already given. So this is print local. Okay, this is local print, which means uh, something which I've already defined in this program. And this is the code synapt, and it also shows you uh, on the your right side that this is system dot dot print ln. So then I just press tab, and there you go. So I give user message to enter in integer integer so user will enter the integer now i need to store it since user will enter the integer so i need to declare a variable of integer data type so let's declare integer uh, enter data type and i create a variable number and this will be equals to reader dot next int this is how reader dot next int this is how you uh, take input from user so this will read the input from user and store into a variable and Teacher variable called number and finally once we have taken that um, input from user we print and how we print we print the or we can say just you and you entered and what did user enter the number there we go this should run so let me run it and see if we get any error and there you go there is a semicolon missing right over here uh, usually in my tutorials i don't uh, remove these errors from my tutorials i can trim them but i don't because i want you to learn from my mistakes even if i have been working on programming language for last two to three years but still i make mistakes so it's okay to make mistakes but you should know that how you can actually uh, find your mistake how you can debug them that's why I don't I want my students to learn from my mistake as well. So let's run it again. The program is compiling and there you go. Enter an integer. Program has given the message enter an integer. Now reader dot next in. This has uh, stopped the execution of the program and it is asking the user to enter an integer. So let me give the integer 10. And if I press enter, there you go. When I pressed enter, this chain was uh, read by reader.nextint and it was stored into this integer variable number and then this uh, uh, this statement ran and it printed you entered a number and number had a 10 value. So there you go, 10. So this is a very simple program. We just have imported a scanner um, class and then we have created a scanner object. And then we have given the message to the user to enter an integer. We have read the uh, integer by reader.nextint and stored it into an integer variable called number. And then finally, we have printed that number. And you should also know that from now onwards, these two lines 
of code scanner importing scanner and creating its object this will also be pre-written i will already write that so that i don't need to write it again and again because in most of the programs we'll need to take input from user so i will just always write them so that's it with this tutorial i'll see you in next tutorial happy learning